I'm Fee. These gates are incredibly sturdy. I just need to keep the wildlife out where they belong. You're joking, right? Yes. <laughs> They're angels. This is their place. This movie, I don't think, could have been made without it being started with it from Animal Logic because they knew that they could do the animation. They knew they could figure it out, and they, and they did. And then the beauty of it is because they're so good at what they do, the danger of it is that I know they can do everything. So once I kind of had that tool in my tool belt with the actors and the voice booths, I said, well, let's just keep trying different things, different things, different things, and we'd have so much fun with it, write whole new storylines in the booth, get out of the booth with, say, Elizabeth or, or Daisy, and then go to my office, log on to Australia and say, hey, the session went great. We need to redo everything. Uh, and they went, oh, no, not again. Uh, but they were so up for the task. And th what they did, which was so amazing, is after about four or five minutes of this movie, you forget that these are computer generated. You believe, you even forget that they're animals talking. You just think that they're rabbits. You think that they're badgers. And the, the, what I'm most proud of Animal Logic's doing is at the very end, when it's a very becomes very emotional, and you have these big close-ups of of Peter and of Mop, of you know Elizabeth and Margot as rabbits, you feel their emotion just coming through the screen, and you see the fur, and you see little subtle movements. You forget that they're computer generated, and that is that is the beauty of what they did is that they did work so hard to kind of erase in your head that it's an animated movie, and they did it. Okay, so he's tricked her. There's only one way out of this. He's got to go. I knew I wanted to do Rose Byrne, because I worked with her before, and she's a friend of mine, and she'd be a perfect bee. So, you know, I said, hey, do you want to do it? And she said, this, is, this was very rare. She said, yeah, let's do it. And then, and trying to cast Mr. McGregor, I've always loved Donald Gleason. He's a chameleon. He's one of the best actors and comedic actors in a long time. I said, Donald, I meant to, went to meet with him. Do you want to work with Rose? He goes, I love Rose. I mean, everything just came. And then that's all steeped in the love that these people have for Beatrix Potter and Peter Rabbit. They all have an emotional connection to it. Same with, I met with Margot and, uh, Margo and Daisy and Elizabeth separately, and I met with them for a long time each, much more than I think they each thought. They thought they were just coming in for just a meeting for a voice thing. But once I kind of get to know who they were, wrote the characters for them, so the characters are a bigger reflection of them, so it's not just them voicing anything, but it's actually, as, as you said, we recorded them, filmed them, so by the time you see them on screen, I see Rose and I see Daisy and Elizabeth and Margot in the rabbits, and I think, I think you would too. Did you know they set traps in my bed? He's a rabbit. He wouldn't hurt anyone. His face was so classic. He was like, burp, 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 burp. <laughs> It was crazy because when they were when they were playing off of actual rabbits you know they had they were playing off of either stuffed animals or men and women with sticks or, or tennis balls or oftentimes just some with the light um, so it, we've, it got so commonplace that it was kind of funny to see Rose kneel down in the middle of a field in the beautiful countryside and put her put her forehead next against a a blue stick with a tennis ball on it and have an emotional scene where she started to cry. And it's only after you yell cut that you realize you look around and go, what are we doing? But it takes a real actors and actors to, uh, to actually pull that off and, and they did an amazing job. Thomas, what's going on here? My two boys getting along, nothing could make me happier. Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks now.